Hey everybody, in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to use the barometer to view barometric pressure on your Cento 9 barometer watch. Now, a lot of videos I do are specific to just the Cento 9 models. It doesn't matter which ones you get. This one, you have to have the barometer model because it's the only one that has this feature. So there's a couple different ways you can look at your barometric pressure. The most basic way is you can use a watch face like this one that shows it as a data field. This is really the best one as far as barometric pressure. This one's nice because you can look and you can see your altitude value as well as your barometric pressure value. And then it has this little adjusting thing up here that shows you your barometric pressure, your low, your high, and where you currently are over the last 24 hours. So it's pretty basic. The big negative about this watch is this watch face is great, but you can't view barometric pressure on every watch face. Other watches out there, like your Garmin watches, they let you pick any watch face and add the data element there. Unfortunately, the Cento watches do not do that. But this one really does everything I need it to. This is your most basic way to view your barometric pressure. If I wanted to go into my actual barometer, I should also mention the sensor that's tracking this information is over here on the left-hand side of the watch. So you wanna make sure you keep that clean or if you're getting any invalid readings, you wanna check and make sure that is not being obstructed in any kind of way. If you're a touchscreen person, you could swipe up. I'm gonna simply use the down button. We're gonna go down a couple pages. First one's gonna be your heart rate, stress recovery, step information, training. Eventually you'll get to a screen that looks like this. It's gonna drop you in and show you your altitude value. If I wanted to, you can look down here at the bottom on your altitude, it says barometer and shows 29.98 inches of mercury. You'll also see that there's three little dots here. To get to your barometer, you basically need to move over to one of the other dots. So if I press the middle button or I could simply swipe, it'll take me to my next page. Next page is going to show my altitude trend. The last page is going to show me my barometer. Over the last 12 hours, you can see what the barometric pressure has been doing. You can see what my current reading is. And then again, you can see my current uh, reading in inches of mercury. I should mention this watch basically has two different options for units of measurement for your barometer, inches of mercury or hectopascals are your two uh, options. Once you're done, you can simply go back to the beginning and then swipe back to get back to your main watch face. Really not a whole lot other than that as far as seeing your barometric pressure, but that's how you do it on your Cento 9 barometer watch. As always, I hope the video helps. Thanks for watching.